high isn't usually that exciting, but Gus Hansen found a new and unusual way to liven things up. He just doubled up with four jacks and an ace kicker and is back in contention. The way you played tonight? Um, for the most part, there were a couple of hands that I would have played differently for sure, but you know, that's poker. Always looking back, you could have done something different. Did you have a good time with the ladies? Definitely. It was a really <laughs> fun table, so. And you got, you girls got Gus out, so. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, at least, you know, at least that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for playing this week. It was good having you. Thanks Erica. for having me. Beth, you're a little new to poker and television. Did you feel like you can hold your own out there? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I wasn't nervous. I was fine. I, I didn't get very many hands, and the couple really good hands I had didn't really hold up. So what do right. you mean, it's poker. Do you feel like your final table with Helmuth prepared you for this? No, I, I don't think anything prepares you for each individual game. I think you have to sit down, play your game, and and hope that a little luck stays on your side, like right. not running into Queen's three-handed. Right. <laughs> Is this your lucky? I have to take a look at this because it's my it's dog. So cute. It's my little Yorkie. <laughs> so you, it's adorable. Thank you. <laughs> it's adorable. This is your lucky charm. It's my lucky charm. Well, it was a pleasure having you on Poker After Thank Dark you. this week. Thanks so much. Thanks. Wanted to change it up, <laughs> not move in on you. Oh. That was a sneaky little min raise there. It made me stop and think. Cloney, you've had great success on Poker After Dark. You hold two titles. How do you feel Vanessa played this week? She played perfect, like she always does. Thank you, Cloney. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming from the two-time champion, that's a huge compliment. Did you feel like you had to redeem yourself from last season's sixth place Definitely, finish? definitely, definitely. What was the key to winning this week? Patience. Uh, I said it before, you know, I played today that uh, I really thought it was going to come down to just, for me, I, I sometimes get in my own way. And uh, just controlling my urge to make moves and just being patient and um, picking the right spots and the right cards. And uh, that's what I did. And you definitely did that. Congratulations, Vanessa. So Vanessa Russo took the chip lead in the middle of the match and never gave it up. She takes home the Poker After Dark title and $120,000. Check out tomorrow night's Director's Cut for a recap of this week's action. For Ali Najad, I'm Marianella. Good night from Las Vegas. Congratulations, Vanessa. <laughs>